Hey guys, so in addition to knowing cuss, it is also important to notice the clusters, gaps, and modes when describing a distribution. So clusters in a distribution show where the data is grouped tightly together. It is also possible to have more than one cluster in a distribution as shown in the graph below. The graph below displays the body masses of a group of individuals. It's pretty clear that there are two clusters of data. One group showing the mean body mass for women and the other for the mean body mass of men, since women tend to weigh less. So, uh, gaps in a distribution show where no values fall in between. They show holes in the distribution. This graph does not display a gap between the two clusters, but there is a trough or a valley in between them. Simply saying that the mean of the distribution is 160 and that it ranges from 125 to 205 completely misses the fact that there are two distinct clusters. But lastly, modes are the major peaks in a distribution. Distributions are said to be unimodal, bimodal, or multimodal. So clearly, this distribution is bimodal since there are two peaks in this distribution.